This is your forecast for the month of August 2017. If you have visited me before, thank you for returning, and if you are new, welcome. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. You might also find it helpful to watch your rising and moon sign. You can also join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology as well as my pay-per-view channel. Vimeo.com slash The Alchemist Astrologer for love, finance, and other readings. Now, the last week you have this Ace of Cups, so there's a new beginning for you emotionally on some level. Again, this growing intuition. You may be more psychic this week. You may be pulling yourself together in, in ways where you feel a greater sense of wholeness, where your mind, your body, and your spirit is working together in unison. Uh, this is a week of abundance. It could be new relationships, uh, that birth or pregnancy could be in focus. There could be, you know, the start of something creative that's important to you. Uh, it could be some emotional renewal. Maybe you're reviving a relationship. Maybe you're starting a partnership. Whatever it is, there is emotional force at your disposal. Uh, and you may be taking something ongoing, some relationship into a new direction. But all of this is centered around emotional renewal or sensual passion in some way. So there could be a focus on dealing with lovers, artistic people, creative people, compassionate people, uh, getting something off the ground that you are very emotionally tied to. And you're feeling very strongly about it. Your emotions are spilling over and you're going to want to share those feelings and emotions with someone else. So this could be the week where you actually, you know, put something out there, whether that's uh, you tell somebody you love them or how you feel about them, or you put out a proposal of some sort, business, marriage, personal. Uh, you're passionate in, in what you feel and you're expressing that. Uh, maybe you're renewing something, your marriage vows. Maybe you're doing something surprising, some romantic gift or gesture to your lover. Or maybe you're receiving that. Or maybe you're feeling such uh, emotional overwhelm that you are willing to be a victim of love. And we get back to that high priestess where you, know, you could be projecting these qualities and you're feeling... Um, totally enamored with someone. Uh, it could also be that, you, you, again, you're starting something. You're starting some new path, some new journey, you're, some new horizon. Uh, you want to gain your freedom in some way. Now, in the negative, this is not getting back what you're putting in. The high priestess, again, may be this, you know, somebody's not getting involved. And so we have... Uh, unrequited love where going back to the queen of wands somebody's involved wielding their influence but really you know somebody's used as an accessory maybe you know somebody just for entertainment or to keep me occupied uh, so you're, you're having to look at that and so this could be a week where you're not getting what you want or there's some kind of a delay or somebody's playing with somebody's emotion and you're not feeling the emotional fulfillment that you want to. So this could be a week of problems in a relationship for some of you, uh, where there are issues of self-centeredness or manipulation or even infertility. Maybe somebody wants to have a child and yet that something is not coming together. But in the positive, this is about, again, taking something in a new direction, so maybe a much needed direction. Um, some of you may be realizing that you were moving something too fast and that high priestess says, wait a minute, let me stop for a moment and think about, you know, where we're headed here. 
So some of you may be running away from love, but in the, in the positive, this is a card about sharing, sharing how you feel. 